The day breaks bright, sunny, and relatively bug free. My body tells me what I have done the day before. The familiar ache of my lower back from too many squats and timber moves. The joints in my right hand pulsate from mallet blows. To my feet, which tell me that I have been staring at concrete all day. My body tells me that I have accomplished something. Pieces become parts with mortises, tenons, and lap joints. A hole begins to emerge from the timbers. Four joints left to three and to the last one. The moment of hesitation, will it work? Wood is an amazing material, full of life and character. Reaction wood, knots, and twists are all verbs to a woodworker. A burst of smell, musty on old timbers, sharp and tangy on new. As a woodshop teacher, this is perhaps the moment that I enjoy seeing the most the creation of a physical object from a pile of raw lumber. To some, I am a master woodworker, but to myself, I am consistently humbled and reminded how much more there is to learn and explore. Perhaps it is this novelty that draws me in. To the untrained eye, a house, table, or other piece of fine craftsmanship appears perfect. The builder sees small mistakes, things that say that this is handmade. We hemmed and hawed over our roofing material until suddenly serendipity struck. Virgin growth white cedar shakes popped up on Facebook Marketplace. A lengthy drive and a lighter wallet, we suddenly had enough to cover our entire roof. These shakes were cut almost a hundred years ago, based off of the mill stand. Some of the bundles had sustained minor damage, but the majority were straight-grained and free of imperfections. The original trees would have been something to see. <laughs> <laughs> 